Hello everyone, I'm Lubomira and thank you for stopping by my channel. If this is your first visit, welcome, make yourself at home and I hope you check out more of my content on this channel. For those of you returning, it's always great to see you. Now that you are here, remember to hit those like and subscribe buttons. By selecting that little bell, you'll get notified every time I post a new video so you never miss out on any of the crafty goodness. Today I'm sharing a birthday card similar to a card that I posted to a Facebook group earlier last week. There seemed to be a real interest in it, so I decided to remake it in a video to share. I used the Lawn Fawn Set Sweetest Flavor for this creation. This is a fun little card, perfect for the summer, with lots and lots of color, and it's really easy to recreate technically. Let's get into the video. I started off by creating the card's front panel using a stencil and some Distress Oxide inks in a rainbow of colors. Before I started ink blending, I foiled the sentiment, wishing you a cool birthday in gold foil using the Cricut. The panel is slightly smaller than a standard A2 card and creates a nice border. The stencil is a custom one I also created using the Cricut. I chose some odd shapes provided in the program and had my machine cut them out from a plastic film. If you don't have a Cricut, you can use metal dies to create some shapes. This would have looked just as nice using overlapping circles. Or you can get even more creative by checking out the shapes some of your coordinating dies have for your stamps. Then using those dies, just cut out a mask from something that you can reposition easily. I positioned my stencil and held it in place with some washi tape as I applied ink. When I'm done filling in a shape, I move the stencil to another shape and continue with the next color. I overlap the shape slightly and blend colors, although I'm not too concerned with smooth transitions. As you can see, I wasn't too careful with my application either, and I got a few smudges here and there. They're not a problem because a sand eraser takes the ink right off with little effort. When I'm done, I go ahead and add some gold splatter to the panel. 
Recently, I've been doing this by simply hitting my small brush against my finger to create the effect. I created rather small splatter, but if you'd like larger drops, simply use a larger brush. Next, I stamp my ice cream cone in intense black ink using an acrylic block. This is a super easy shape to stamp, so no special tools are needed to get a nice impression. I colored my ice cream using Copic markers. For those colors and all my supplies, please see my description below. I followed my usual light to dark method of coloring. I wanted to create a white highlight towards the center of the ice cream scoop. Since the scoop was round, I applied darker color around the edge of the shape and worked my way into the middle using a curved motion and a light hand. I used very little ink on the center and blended it out further using a colorless blender. Once I had my ice cream colored, I die cut them using the coordinating dies. To add even more color, I created a colorful mat using the same Distress Oxides I used earlier. I applied a quick layer of color only around the edge of the cardstock since the middle would be covered and only the border would show. I attached my mat to my card base using liquid glue and then attached everything else using foam tape.
Lastly, I added some clear sequins to the card front for some additional sparkle and shine. And that's it. This was a super fun and easy card to create. It just puts a smile on my face because of all the cheerful colors. What do you think? I'd love to hear your thoughts, so please leave them in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed this card. Please leave me your comments below. I would love hearing from you. You can also tag me over on Instagram if you'd like to share your projects. I enjoy seeing what you're up to, and don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. I hope you have a wonderful week and life treats you kindly. I'll see you next time for another creation. Take care. Bye.